Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ, and we are back on another episode of Let's Build a Game Show, episode nine. Episode nine, yes, episode nine. And I have got a Soul Sand Square, a Soul Sand platform here, and this is going to be the start of this week's episode, or the, not this week's, today's episode. It's more than one episode a week, isn't it? <laughs> I haven't done anything on the Splay Arenas. I still need to finish it. I just haven't had a chance. But this episode, we're going to do a sort of... Um, I don't know what to really call it. I'll think of a title after I've done the video. But basically, chickens are going to drop from the sky. And the two players, the two opponents, are going to try and have to run on this soul sand. Which is really hard to do. Really difficult. And they've got to kill as many chickens as possible. And whoever has the most chicken breast food... These things at the end wins. Uh, so we're going to have uh, what are they? Chicken spawn eggs in dispensers above. And the reason why I've chosen chickens is because they don't take full damage. So they sort of flutter down to the sky, from the sky, down to the ground uh, safely without sort of just dying on the floor. So uh, we're going to have a go at this. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to have the sort of host pod, the host room, up in the sky with three buttons that he can press. Oh, or three or five, or I don't know. I'll, I'll start with three, and each button will set off a different set of dispensers. So the first thing we need to figure out is exactly how high we want these dispensers to start at. Do we want them to be at this height, or is that too high? They're going to be on the floor, they're going to flutter down. I think that's about the right height. So if we make a line, let's get a splashy potion. We'll get a line that goes across the top of the place here, so we know how high the uh, roof is going to be. And then we need to get some dispensers. And start setting these out where we want them. So, um, hmm, how are we going to do this? What would be the easiest way? I'll tell you what the easiest way will be. Will be to make an exact same size square above. And then we can punch holes in the quartz where we want the dispensers to be. Or roughly where they want to be. So, uh, yeah, I'll fill this in. I don't think you guys are going to want to watch me fill in a square. I should be right back. Alright, just getting to the end. I just thought I would reiterate as well. A lot of people have been asking lately, is this world going to go up for download? Yeah, it definitely will go up for download uh, when it's finished though. Obviously, I'm not going to put it out half finished. It's, you know, <laughs> nowhere near there yet. Um, but yeah, it will eventually go out for download and it'll be really fun to play. I will be playing it with subscribers. Uh, I might even play a couple of games with YouTubers depending on if anyone wants to play it. Um, but yeah, I'll be getting some um, some subscribers together to, to come and play. I don't exactly know when. Obviously, I need to wait until it's finished first before we can really play it at all. Uh, but it's going to be really fun when we do, I think. Hopefully, anyway. Uh, so yeah, let's place these dispensers down. I'm doing this pretty randomly, re really. Just getting some um, some places on which they can go. I want lots of options for them to come out with. Because if we don't have a lot of options, people are just going to stand in one place and wait for them to fall down to them. So if we have lots of places... Maybe it'll be more beneficial if people actually uh, move about. Splash. And there. And we'll have a... We won't have actual eggs in here. We'll have the spawn eggs. Not not just normal chicken eggs. Uh, just so we know that we get a chicken each time out of it. Otherwise the eggs are a little inconsistent. Uh -huh. And one there. And one there. I have no idea really... How many we should have. If there's too many. We can always take some away. So uh, we'll just keep placing them down. Until we fill up this area. I don't think it's too many. But in all honesty. I've never seen this sort of uh, map before. This sort of. Uh, or this game mode before. I've never seen anybody uh, make one. So I have nothing to sort of improve upon. Or to base it upon. Alright. Should we have one in the corner? Nah. That'll do. It seems to be more over there than this side. Let's just add a couple over here. I think I got more and more excited as I got more along. Right, and there. Perfect. Alright, so we've got all the dispensers out here. Now what I'm going to do to help me wire this up, I'm going to use three different coloured wools. And uh, I'm just going to put a piece of wool. I'll put them behind it. I'm going to put a piece of wool behind random uh, dispensers. And then I know which ones will hook up to which ones, if you know what I mean. Because I think we're going to do three buttons. I think three buttons will be a nice amount. Let's leave that one. I'll have that one. I want that one. I want that one. And that one. And that'll be all of those will be hooked up on one button. And then on the second button we shall have these ones. Oops. Like so. Oh no, it's getting night time. Uh yeah, let's have both of those. Why not? There. There. 
there, oops, there, and there, and then orange ones on the rest. And that should be fairly evenly spaced out. We might count them in a minute just to double check that we haven't got too many of on one and not enough on another. Whoops. There. And we're pretty much running out. Okay, how many orange ones do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. How many greens? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. <sighs> okay, let's take away a green one and add it to an orange one. This one right there. There we go. Right, oranges. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep. Green is 1, 2, three. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And, orange, and yellow even is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wow. Did I just do that right or what? Absolutely perfect. I love it when it all comes together. So, now we need to work out where the... What's the play? The commentator's box, the host's box, not commentator's. The host box uh, is going to be, in most cases, where I'm going to be, in fact. Um, we could have it about here. Something like that, so we can look down upon our opponents, or upon our people. So let's have the floor here. Uh, yeah, 5 by 5 square will do for now. And uh, we can't have the buttons in front of us, otherwise the sort of redstone needs will be sort of in the room. So we're going to have the buttons on here, and... Hmm... I could do, like, a yellow... Like that, and have the buttons on each one, which correspond to to each bit. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Why not? Why not? Uh, buttons. We go one, two, three, and now it's just a matter of hooking them all up. So, uh, yeah, I suppose I shall uh, be right back. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, I missed one. <laughs> Got one more orange one here. I thought I was done. Ah, oh, not professional. Right. <laughs> Whoops. Come down here. There we go. It wasn't too difficult. Um, it just took a little bit of organising. But it's there in the end. We've got it. And I've got them hooked up to here at the minute. Just so I can do some testing. And uh, they t all tick. Can you hear that? I don't know if you can hear that. You should be able to hear that. Uh, so now it's just a matter of getting them from A to B. Now I think it would be cool if we actually. If we just made this one block wider. And it's a complete 5x5. Five five. I hate it when there's buttons on the floor. And then we can have one there. Oh, we'll have it back. One there. Ah, uh, one there. And one there. Like that. I think that would be a better way to do it. And then we'll put buttons on there in a moment. So, let's hook up the yellow one first. The yellow one is this one. And we shall go from... Whoops. From here. And we shall staircase our way up. And we'll fill it up with eggs and have a go. Hopefully... It'll all work all fine and we won't need to do any adjustments. <laughs> but when does things ever work like that? Never. Never, never, never. Alright. Uh, yeah, that'll make it to there. Let's get our buttons as well. Ah. Uh, yeah. Button. 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 So yellow ones. Yeah, you can hear them all tick. That's a pretty good sign. Okay, orange. Let's get orange hooked up. Oh, and checked up here. Now I know it's not the most um, it's not the most complex redstone in the world, and it's not the ne but it's not the neatest redstone in the world. Uh, hopefully, I've done it in a while. I didn't want to show you all putting all that redstone down because it took a little while. It took about sort of 15 minutes, and that would take up most of the episode. Uh, so I didn't want to do that. Uh -huh. So hopefully, you sort of still tell um, what I've done if you are building something like this yourself. It's it's not that difficult. You should be okay. Um, right, I'm going to put a repeater here to make sure it gets to everything. The yellow one's fine. And then the green one. Ah, I come down here. And we'll come around here. And then we just need a way to get into this. Maybe I'll have it on the front like a ladder to go in it. So then all this back is all safe and we can do as much messy redstone as we want around the back here. Splash me. And the green. Always, 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 if you're doing redstone and you're having multiple inputs such as what I've got here, make sure you use different coloured wool, guys. Otherwise, it makes it extremely, extremely difficult to try and follow. Just make sure the orange works. Did it get them all? I don't think it got one of them. I can't tell. 
<laughs> it seems to be all right. We'll have a look up in a minute again. I did have it when it was all hooked up with levers. It all did work, which is why I used levers so I could tell uh, exactly if they were all working or not, if they were all lighting up, because there was obviously a, a constant redstone uh, signal being on. There we go. All right. Let me just switch back to levers. And as long as everything is all lit up, every single piece of redstone is lit up, it means we've done it right. Uh-huh. I can't see any off redstone. This is all on. That's on there, which is firing that one. Okay, it looks good. It looks good. We can swap them back to buttons again. So, uh, let's fill them up with spawn eggs and, uh, and have a test. I shall be right back. All right, and they're all full. I've just put 16 in each. We shouldn't really need more than that. Um, that means 16 of each button presses and 16 times 3 is, I don't know, like 44, whatever. No, it's not right, is it? 16 and 16 is 32, plus 16 is 46. 46 is about right, isn't it? No, 48. 48. I'm pretty sure it's 48. Anyway, they're all in there. So if you push the yellow one, I'm, oh, let's save it first so I don't have to refill them all. We'll save it and then we can always reload it, can't we? Right, save, 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 preparing chunks, finalizing, and push the button. We should get 12 chickens, hopefully. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That, that was just beautiful, wasn't it? Orange one. <laughs> uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I, p I counted 8 then. I'm not sure about you guys. Uh, mind you, we're probably hitting the animal count, you see, at the minute. And green. Yeah, one. Yeah, what we're doing is we're hitting the amount of animals we can have on the map. Because look how many animals are actually about this area. You can see them all about here. But while p when people are killing them, uh, we'll be able to get more. Hopefully, I think. <laughs> Let's kill these off. Oh my god, that was just brilliant, wasn't it? <laughs> Alright, I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, let's try the green again. Yeah, there we go. We get some more chickens. Perfect. So when people are killing them off, we'll be able to bash away at these and, uh, and watch people go after chickens. It's been going to be great. I would have got 14 points out of that. <laughs> Alright, so the next thing is lighting, I suppose. Um, let's get some serious work done here. The lighting is going to be quite difficult. Now, obviously, on top of us here, all I'm going to do, by the way, is um, cover up all the dispensers with uh, quartz, like so. So when you look up, uh, you can see up there, like. But maybe glowstone would be better. If we done glowstone, maybe that'll give a better look. I'm not sure. I've, I've I don't really know what look. We should go for on this one. It's going to be difficult to light up the whole area, but I'm not sure if mobs can spawn on soul sand because it's a little thinner than other blocks. You can still place redstone on it, but it's not as tall as it as other blocks. It's just a little bit more uh, down, sort of like, what you call it, like tilled soil. So I'm not sure if they can spawn on it. I don't know. I'll have to do some testing. Uh, but yeah, let me do a little bit of work, or, or should we do a little bit of work together? Let's do a little bit of work together. Let's... Um, have some stairs along the bottom here. So it sort of bugs out a little bit. Oh, let's get off the uh, soul sand and get a speed potion going. Ah, we'll go around the edge here. So, stairs at the bottom to give it a bit of shape. And then maybe, I don't know if we want quartz on top of that or if we want a colour. We could have, like, the red and the blue on top of that. Why? Oh, I've gone one too far. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It don't even matter. doesn't even matter. Right. Around here, delete, and along here, and then if we get the red wool and the blue wool, and then we go, we don't want the red on that level, do we? We can have it on this level, we can have red, then white, then blue, we could have it like that, no I don't like that as much, do I? We could do that. We need lighting though, that's the real problem. Maybe um, maybe we need glowstone around the bottom first. Yeah, that's what we're going to need, aren't we? Just to get a little bit of light down here. The middle is gonna, isn't going to be lit up, but what we could do, if we wanted to, is find the exact middle point, which is going to be roughly there-ish. I think one over. Let's get some soul sand. 
Uh, like that. Yeah, that's the middle point. And then we could do something like that. And then put some brown carpet on top of it. Just to give us a little bit of lighting. Like so. Maybe even have um, a red and a blue carpet as the standing points, as the starting points. Possible? Let's have a look. Ah. If we have blue, red, maybe even white carpet? I don't know. You guys tell me. That's pretty cool. As a starting point. Um, it's not in the middle, is it? I can't even tell if it's square. You can't get high enough to tell if it's completely square or not. I have no idea. No, it's not in the middle. Damn it, the buttons aren't in the middle. Because that's the middle point. I made that the middle point. Which means we need to go either one, unfortunately. Alright, I'm going to have a little bit of a play. I should be back uh, in a moment. I'll show you progress. Alright, and we're back. Now, <laughs> originally, I did actually show you what I'd done and then ended the episode off. But when I come to editing the video, I realised the video was a little bit short. So uh, we can do a little bit more to this. What I have done, though, inside, which I haven't shown you, is uh, we've got the cockpit, if you like, the cockpit of the room. This is going to be the start button. And then we've got the three buttons here for each of uh, the set of dispensers to release the chickens. <laughs> and then in here, it actually looks pretty cool. I, I like how it looks in here. Get in there. Uh, it, it's quite arena looking. It's quite spooky. But I do like the soul sound. I think that's a really cool, unique touch. It just makes it a little bit difficult to get about. And it'll also slow the chickens down as well if the chickens are on the floor. Uh, it'll slow those down as well. I think it looks pretty cool with the cockpit up there and stuff like that. We just need to figure out how people are going to get in here. I expect they're going to get through a door probably at the bottom here. Is there enough room to get in the bottom here? Yeah, we could have a door straight from there into here. Couldn't we? That's from the uh, last round. Even if we joined both of those doors up, we could make those one door if we wanted to. And then bring it straight down here into there. And then the uh, host could probably get through a place here or something like that. A doorway in there. And uh, that'll solve that problem. But there is one thing that we sort of need to sort out. We don't have any any timer, anything to sort of say when the game should be over. And I think the best way to do that is with is making some sort of timer to s tell us how long we can go for. Like we press the button and it has a timer. And then once the lights go out, uh, it's time up. And I think we can do this in a very similar way. To what we done a few episodes ago, uh, that way, yeah, that way, at the uh, archery range, we can use a uh, an arrow in a dispenser, maybe onto a, a wooden button. Just, just try to think of an idea. So, let's get a dispenser. We need to do a couple of little tests first to make sure it all works. If we get that, and we get a block, doesn't matter what block it is for now, and a wooden button, and let's sleep the night away. Get rid of this night time. Sleep, sleep, my pretty. Okay, so we're going to push the button and the, the uh, it's going to activate a dispenser, which has some arrows in it, which will then fire at uh, a block with a button on it. So let's now activate it. We need a lever or something. Oh. Okay, so at that distance, it hits the, um, what do you call it, the button every time, hopefully anyway. It didn't hit at that time. Hmm. I need something that's going to hit every single time. In fact, it isn't even hitting at all now, is it? We got it that time. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let me have a little think and I shall be right back. Okay. So we've got a different way here using a painting. Now, <clears throat> let me right, clear my throat. Uh, an arrow at a dispenser, uh, or an arrow at a button, like we figured out on the archery range, lasts for exactly one minute. Now, if we have a painting here, and we shoot the painting. Uh, if I had arrows in it. Where did all the arrows go? I must have broke it. I've got some here. It's fine. So we shoot it at the uh, painting, and it's going to land on a pressure plate, which will activate the redstone. And this will go out once the item despawns and the item is obviously going to last five minutes instead of a one minute timer this will be a five minute timer which i think will be okay i don't think five minutes will be too long we've got enough eggs to last five minutes it'll be a bit more of a a longer round instead of a minute i didn't think a minute was too short but i think five minutes will be good so that's the way we're going to do it we've got a little set up there and then we've got the button there which means our Ah, let's get some quartz or something. 
Will that activate that redstone there? Let's have a look. It should do. Oh, God. We've released some chickens, I think. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. That's terrible. Um, How did that release that? It must be because of the block there. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. Um... <laughs> We might have to move this orange away a little bit. We'll rejig that. And uh, we'll, we'll <laughs> redo this. Oh, my God. Right. Let's get this out of the way a little bit. Like that. And then we can hook the orange up. We'll do it like this. There we go. That should be out of the way now. We shouldn't activate it anymore. Oh, I'm going to have to clear all those chickens up now. That's terrible news. Right. So we should have two separate <laughs> inputs now. Okay, that's a good sign. There we go. Right, it's all fine. So orange is hooked up, and now this one. So this one we're going to have a dispenser here with some arrows in it, which we shall put in in a minute. And then let's have a... Well, we could have the painting right here, can't we? We'd have the painting there. And then... Uh, sort of box it in a little bit so the painting can't actually go anywhere like so so the arrow oops the arrow has to hit the painting and it'll have to fall down and I'm pretty sure it'll only fall on that one we don't need to worry about the other one in fact if we put a block there we don't need to worry about it at all then do we it can't be activated by the redstone on the green line but we can now have our line of redstone our output down here. Okay, so what we're going to signify uh, the timer. We could replace this row of glowstone with redstone lamps if we wanted to. It would be a lot of lighting, but it would be an easy way to tell for everyone. Let's try that. I'll replace these. I shall be right back. Alright, so I've hooked all the lights up. I didn't really need to show you that. I will show you what I have done, though, here, how I've done it. I've got the redstone line coming whoops, from the uh, pressure plate out. I've got an item on the pressure plate at the minute, so I knew what was lit up. And it comes around here. Now, obviously, we can't go all the way around with no repeaters because the redstone signal just isn't going to travel that far. Um, we do have one a possible problem here with the yellow, but that should be okay. Um, and then it comes to here. Now, this is where the redstone signal runs out. Now, we can't have... We can't just have it going like this. Because if we have it like this, although it all looks good, below here... The redstone lamp, which uh, is by the repeater here, isn't lit up. So we can't have it like that. Otherwise, we'll have <laughs> we'll have lights that are off, uh, dotted around the edge here. So the way we've got to do it is... Originally, I thought we could do something like this. I thought we could do this. Which obviously all works. It, it, it works. All the lights are now on below here. The only trouble is, is when the redstone signal goes out, once that despawns... Uh, it's still on because it's powering itself all the time. So we can't have that either. So uh, after a little bit of playing about, uh, we came up with, or I came up with, uh, this. Uh, let's fill those back in again. Boop, boop, boop. We can put a block below and above it. And it's like this. So now the redstone line comes into that uh, light here, that troublesome light. And it can't go over because of the block here. And then we can continue the path on like so. So I've got just like uh, six of these or so dotted about. Or maybe four, yeah. Four of them dotted about to get the redstone signal all the way around it. So we should be able to test now and make sure it all works. So it's still light enough in here because we've got the glowstone at the bottom. And if we hit the start button. I hate it when it doesn't work. <laughs> ah, that'll be the problem. We need to fill up with arrows. <laughs> I hate it when things don't go right the first time. It's a horrible feeling. Right. And we hit the start button. Yes, it works. Excellent. So those lights will stay on for five minutes. And then once the item despawns, they'll go out. And we'll know that it, the uh, timer is up. And it's time to move on to the next round and count up how many chickens uh, you killed. 
perfect. Alright guys, as the sun is, well it's not even setting, while the moon is in midair, <laughs> we can uh, end the episode off here. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we shall see you in the next episode. Bye!